new to Red Dead Online in the brand new Frontier Pursuits DLC update, we have three new saddles to unlock in game. And whether you are a collector, bounty hunter, or a trader, you get a unique saddle to fit your role and fit your play style. And so since I've specifically been focusing on collectors so far, we are going to be checking out this saddle as well as the other saddles here in game. You guys may already have the bounty hunter or trader saddles unlocked. I have the collector, so I'm gonna be showing you guys what exactly it's like, whether it's worth buying, how the stats are, and things like this. So we are going to go into the stables here. We are going to go to our horses. I will show you my horse with the saddle on it right now. This is the collector saddle. It is called the McKinney saddle. Now, personally, am I a fan of the color scheme? It's similar to the Lancaster repeater variant that you get with the collector as well. The green and like the beige is kind of cool. The tans, the yellows, the reds. It's an interesting saddle. I just like all the saddle stuff on it. The gear, the little lunchbox thing, the, the saddle bags, the bed rolls, all of these wraps and things like this. The other equipment, there's like a little mini shovel and a canteen attached on the side. The green wraps on the bottom for the saddle to wrap around the horse's body and the horse's stomach seems really cool. It just is an overall appealing saddle to me. You guys may like the bounty hunter saddle because of the appearance and things like that. And I'm going to be showing those off as well here in this video. So we're going to go to add saddle. To buy the saddles, you need to make sure you are the appropriate rank here in Red Dead Online for these saddles themselves. So we I don't know exactly what rank you need to be for some of these in specific, but I will be showing you guys all of these saddles. This is the Bounty Hunter saddle right here. It is called the Delgado saddle. Now, it is kind of like the Lumley Ranch saddle. If you check it out here, or sorry, Lumley McClellan saddle. It is pretty much this same one, but just specific for the Bounty Hunter. It's all cool gold. Of course, it looks 1 million times better than this saddle, but it is that same style as you can see. And honestly, it's looking pretty rad. I like the black and gold. It fits well. And if you're riding around with the new Bounty Hunter outfit, this is definitely one of the ones you want to check out. Now, this is the McKinney saddle right here, like I was showing off to you guys. It's more specifically similar to... I don't even know what it would look like in this game. I guess it wouldn't really be any of these. Maybe it would be one of these. I guess the Neller Mother Hubbard saddle, perhaps. We'll see. we got to go back to it. I don't know. It's got so much gear and equipment on it, you almost can't even tell what the normal saddle variant would be. But this is what it looks like here. It is an expensive saddle purchase. It's $525. It is the same thing with the Delgado saddle. You need it here. One roll token and also $525 if you haven't purchased it. That's the most disappointing thing with the rolls is you spend the roll tokens to basically just unlock the ability to purchase these new items, which is kind of funny. I feel like there's a little bit of a bait and switch, but nonetheless, it'll keep you grinding, that's for sure. And also the trader saddle. This is the new Fletcher saddle here in Red Dead Online. This is definitely something that you'd expect a trapper or a trader to be selling to you here in game. It's got a bunch of cool embossed embroidery here on the saddle. You got the tassels. The under wrap is very nice as well. I'm not too sure what it's called. The blanket underneath the saddle itself is pretty cool. I actually can't even tell if there's any cool blankets underneath. This one is kind of like a red and black, but of course, this gold detail on these saddles are amazing. These are probably my two favorites. This is probably my least favorite of the three just because it looks a little bit more basic and maybe you like that appearance. I do like that hollowed center in the middle on top of the saddle by the horn and the seat and everything. If I had to rank these, I would probably say this is my favorite just because of the gear and then this is my favorite looking saddle just because of the color scheme and then of course this one. Um, but I'm going to be showing you guys here the McKinney saddle right here. I have this on my horse. This one is also $525 just to let you know. Whatever role you are and you want that role specific saddle, all of these will cost you a roll token and $525 specifically. So let's have the McKinney saddle on our horse right here. Let's actually bring it outside. I'm not too sure why I'm using this horse called Carrie right here. I love this leopard Appaloosa. I haven't been able to use this poor horse for months because of that malnourishment glitch. I was never able to fix it, but now it is in the newest Red Dead Online update, so I am pretty happy with that, but this is kind of what the saddle is like, and I, I must need to say, you know what, maybe just for comparison here, I am going to go and put this on a Turkoman or a Fox Trotter. I'm going to put it on a Fox Trotter just to show you guys kind of how much your stamina is, uh, or how much your horse's stamina is going to drain with this saddle. Now, mind you, with this saddle as well, I have the hooded stirrups on there so those are the best stirrups to actually have on the horse itself the nakadochus i think is still the best saddle in the game at least when you put the hooded stirrups on the panther saddle just as saddles go is the best saddle but the nakadochus with the hooded stirrups is the best combination just because of the drain rate of stuff so we are going to apply the mckinney saddle here and you can see the stats the core drain rate is minus 34 percent the core drain rate for the um the health is 34% as well, just like the stamina. The stamina regeneration rate is 20% faster, and the stamina drain rate is just 0%. Whereas on the Nakadochas here, you could see here, you have a lot of stuff. 
on this on the stamina drain rate you get basically 35 percent with this combination here and along with a 50 percent with the actual hooded stirrups as well you can see the difference just easy comparison right here that the actual Nakadocha saddle is a lot better than this McKinney saddle right here. But nonetheless, I'm going to be showing you guys what it's like on my Fox Trotter horse. You basically, if you have the Nakadocha saddle and the hooded stirrups, you can run back and forth across the map forever. You will never run out of stamina. But with this saddle, it's a little bit of a different story because I'm chasing all my collections down. I'm running back and forth across the map. And my horse, even though I'm not losing stamina, oh, okay, I didn't apply it. Sorry, hold on. I gotta go make the horse active. So sorry to get sidetracked and mess up right there. Like I was saying, you may not necessarily be running out of stamina with these new saddles, but I feel like the Nakadocha saddle is still more of an effective saddle to use here in Reddit Online. This is definitely just for looks. Of course, we've been using the same content for a while, so you want to enjoy all the new content. But in terms of utility, and if you want the best statistics for a saddle and the stirrups, the Nakadocha with the hooded stirrups is still definitely the way to go. I would like to see Rockstar add more. But you can see, I'm not calming my horse at all. You should be doing that anyway. But with the Nakadocha with the hooded stirrups, the Nakadocha saddle with the hooded or even any of the special saddles like the panther trail or the alligator uh, ranch cutting saddle or any of those your stamina on your horse does not drain this fast this is a little bit crazy like I have barely made it outside of Valentine I am not yet to the oil fields and I'm losing stamina so fast now of course I can calm the horse right there and I'll gain a lot back but if you're hunting bounties and stuff like this this may not be the saddle you want to go for the bounty hunter saddle is probably a little bit better of course I don't have it unlocked and I probably will not be purchasing it just yet for the sake of this video but I just wanted to show you this new collector saddle here in red that online I do like the look I like the look of having all of this gear on the saddle that's definitely one of the draws for me but of course if you're someone who's more into utility on their saddle and not necessarily the aesthetics then you may want to probably use the Nakadocha saddle with the hooded stirrups whether or not you know this game like the back of your hand and you just didn't know that tip and trick or you are a new player looking to get into these roles these saddles are not like the end all be all the horses are the kind of the same thing the fox riders the Turkmen's, and the arabians are still probably i would argue the best horses in the game and these saddles are also not the best new saddles in the game they are good they're solid but they're not the best We've had content that's already been released that is still definitely the meta here in this game. So just want to make that clear. But this is the saddle here in Red Dead Online. With all that said and out of the way, that is everything here that is up on deck for these new saddles here in Red Dead Online. I hope you guys are enjoying your new roles to play around with, whether you are a bounty hunter, collector, or trader in the game. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have any of these new and exclusive saddles unlocked here in game? Have you guys actually purchased them? What are your thoughts on them if you have? I would really like to know because my goal is to collect all three eventually. And if you have a favorite based off of this video, or even if you have one on your own account, please let me know. And whatever it is, feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. With that being said, hopefully you all enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Red Dead Online and Red Dead Redemption 2. I got you covered with the best of updates, news, information, tips, tricks, leaks, and all of that good stuff. And also Grand Theft Auto Online and The Last of Us Part 2 content. Can't forget about those. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram to also get connected with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of those links can be found in the description down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.